just got in, and Haley, our employee, told us that the egg-eating snake laid eggs. Oh, that's cool. Sure enough, there's one. Oh, and there's one. And there's one. Look, there's one. It's speckled. That's an egg-eater egg, all right. Yeah. So, I guess breeding season isn't over yet, and we have egg-eating snake eggs. First things first, we should probably find them all and figure out how many we have. Got one here, and if they're good, that one looks pretty good. It's yeah. got a little bit of blood on one side, which is odd, but it Hopefully looks- Hopefully she's all right. Yeah, I'll have to make sure she's okay. I wonder which one, because there's two females in here. And actually, one of these females laid eggs about three weeks ago, then we were out of town. So we'll show you those in a second. There's another one. Look, oh my gosh, look how long that yeah, egg is. Yeah, that one's is. a really good one. And they show the stars too. So egg-eating snakes are known for their eggs having these little stars on them which is really kind of cute. She just scattered them everywhere. There's one back here. This one looks a little bit sluggy. Oh, but that one's not going to make it. Yeah, that one's, <laughs> that one's definitely a slug. I heard there were more. Yeah, she laid more. Well, I think the other Ooh. female, because it's only been three weeks, so I don't think that's enough time to like develop. Double clutch? A, yeah, to double clutch. So I'm guessing this is from the other female in there. That means the male's been getting busy. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, and there's an egg eater. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're not happy. No, she is not. We've got a little smorgasbord of colors and shapes yeah. here. Oh, you are definitely not happy. Did you lay eggs? I'm pretty good. Oh, yeah, she was definitely laying oh, yep. eggs. That was you. This is Ophelia. I did not know. I didn't, wasn't expecting eggs from you. Well, that's kind of cool. You can see their defense mechanism here where they rub their scales together. Yep, you're very intimidating, Ophelia. Looks like you've got a little shed on you, so I might give you a bath after this. Does she feel like she's got them all out? Or? Uh, it, Oh, well. well. Uh, she doesn't feel like she has them all out yet, actually. Okay. Yeah, she's still. We should probably miss down there and it. Pretty thick down there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to miss this whole thing down to help her out. As long as there's no more, come back later and see if we can find anything. Yeah, here's our other girl. This is the girl that laid the first clutch. Oh, jeez. Wow, you are an upset. Okay. I can understand, though. Fine, I'll leave you alone. Right, well, so we have five right now. Yes, we'll check back. Well, well, I guess we'll mist it down. Maybe we'll put a bunch of wet moss under the cork to encourage her to lay them in there. And then we'll check back after a little while. But she still looks pretty wide, so I'm thinking she still has some eggs. I could yeah. be wrong. They I also... mean, five would be our smallest clutch we've ever gotten from them, too. So really small, yeah. So, I mean, since we're on the subject, I wasn't sure if we were going to show this footage, but the other female in here did lay eggs about three weeks ago. We were going to leave it as a surprise, but this seems like a good time to bring it up. We were out of town, so our awesome manager, Kim, actually took the eggs out, made sure mom was okay, and she incubated the eggs, and we just came back to incubated egg-eating snake eggs. So here's the footage that she took from that. What should we draw on it? Something inappropriate, since yeah. Ed and Emily aren't here, we gotta... Exactly. <laughs> Cheyenne, what do you think we should draw? Kim was here. <laughs> All right, it is Monday. Um, the facility is obviously closed today, but I'm stopping in real quick just so I can check in on those egg eating snakes. Since we did find an egg yesterday, odds are there's bound to be more uh, anytime now. So I'm gonna check in on these guys over here. We did give them some sphagnum moss to lay Look back there. I see some eggs. Oh, there's so many. Six, I believe, that I can see just uh, right off the bat here. I'm gonna go have to grab their incubation tray and get these guys incubated as well. So I have the incubation tray for the eggs here. Now I just have to work on getting them out of the enclosure. Oh, they look healthy. All right, can you tell I'm not a YouTuber? <laughs> They're really cool. They're kind of like, they've got all these bumps on them. Obviously, this is my first time seeing snake eggs up close and personal. So uh, seeing them on the videos, I don't know, maybe they look different than they do in person, but I've never seen a bumpy egg. Now I'm gonna do a little bit more of a deep search and see if I can spot any more. Uh, cause I don't see any right now, but there might be more hiding. I lifted up the moss and there's another one right there. So I've definitely found at least two more. We'll see if we can find any other ones down here. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's so cute. You did such a good job. Look at two more eggs for sure. And look at that proud girl. Okay, so I know I haven't dealt with any gravid snakes before or any snakes who have laid eggs, 
but I've got to say, I think searching through a zoo exhibit to find all of the eggs is a completely different experience from what Emily and Ed are normally doing, because I'm uh, looking around all of their uh, awesome decor and bark trying to find all the eggs and avoid the eggs that are there for them to eat, and I just keep finding more. I just look back here and look, there's another one right down there. Look at all of these beautiful, healthy eggs. 12 whole eggs. This one's a little bit teeny tiny. It still does look healthy though compared to all the other ones. So 12 whole healthy eggs. I just have to now figure out what I'm going to draw on them. All right, I think that should do the trick. Um, I did all space theme. I actually used to work at a planetarium when I was in college. This one might still be my favorite. This was supposed to be the moon. It kind of looks like a chocolate chip cookie. Then we have a planet. We also have a spiral galaxy here. This was my attempt at a nebula. That's kind of hard to draw, a big wispy cloud in space. It kind of looks like a fire. So I think that's it for our egg eating snake eggs. Say that five times fast. Now I'm gonna pop them back into incubation. I'm looking forward to seeing the babies that come out of these. All right, these eggs have been in incubation for quite a while. Any babies yet? Oh, yep, looks like a lot of them are for sure bad. Ah, but those two look good still. I have high hopes that those are gonna make it. And I'm leaving them together because, well, I've been too busy to take those out. I guess I could take them out, but it's just kind of proof that if the, an egg is good, then it can actually resist mold from kind of intruding in on it. So kind of neat how they have that built-in resistance. Back into the incubator we go. I'll check back in on you in a couple days. Any babies yet? I don't see any babies coming out of those two eggs, but they still look good. No babies yet back in the oven. Okay, update time. As you can see, we moved the incubator into our messy server room because we have parties starting in the classroom. So we didn't want this incubator there because someone might be able to just open it up. Any babies? No babies. But those eggs look huge. They're like getting really big and they still look good. All right, we'll keep waiting. It's been like, I think I actually looked at the recording when the eggs were laid. It's been like 90 days now. I don't know when they're gonna hatch, if they will. Baby, <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, babies? They're hatching! Aww. Look at the little egg eater have face! two, three whole babies that can hatch from that. Oh my goodness! Wow, babies in February. Look at those spit bubbles. We haven't had baby egg eaters in so long and I just realized the audio is probably really bad. Got too excited. Oh my gosh, we have babies! Oh my gosh, okay, it's been like nine hours. We've been working all day. All the staff out there is really curious what's going on in here because we've been going in and out and we've shown a few staff members right before they go home and we're not showing anyone until they're about to leave. So it's like a little surprise at the end of the day. Oh, did you suck back into your egg? That's rude. Oh wait, oh my gosh, you came out. Hello, I didn't see you in the corner there. Yep, it was this one. He came out completely, hello. Oh my goodness, are you so scary? He's doing his scale rub defense mechanism. Oh, oh my goodness, and you struck up my finger. You don't even have teeth. You're not even making a sound, but you're trying. What a scary baby egg eating snake. You must be a saw scaled viper. Okay, fine. Oh my goodness, all right. I will just put you back in incubation. Okay, our staff has all seen this little guy. Isn't he cute? Have you not seen him out yet? No, I've seen him once. once Okay. Outside. You are so cute. Look, he's trying to be a soft scaled viper, but not making any noise. Oh, you don't have big enough scales yet, dude. <laughs> oh, he's trying. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, egg two and three, we're assuming, are going to hatch soon. Yeah, there you go. Do the touch. Yeah. The Look, sensitive. there's babies running over you. Yeah, you he's... should hatch. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> it's really neat how those stars kind of stay around the entire duration. They get more, like, more pronounced. Pronounced, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so those little white dots or snowflakes are an egg eater thing. It's like a unique trait just to their eggs. You're a special little snake. Unfortunately, we have to go out of town tomorrow morning. It's like they knew yeah. that we're gonna leave. We have to leave in 
six hours. five hours. Yep, to go to the airport. So we're not going to get any sleep tonight, but that's okay. We're going to go do some exciting filming in Virginia. Yeah. And then we'll come back in three days. Well, hopefully these two are out. And hopefully those two are out. Add water to this too. Yeah, it's a little bit dry. Eggie does like it dry though, I think. Yeah. So I guess we'll uh, go out of town and come back. Hopefully you two come out. Okay, we're I'm back. Looking, we're I don't back. care at this point. No, I made Ed wait until I put the camera together because we have not seen these since uh, we got back. They've moved. I don't oh. think either of the other two have hatched though. What? Oh, weird. It's just still, just the one? Yep, he's still good. Should we cut those, you think? It's uh, been a few days. Probably. Yeah, if he came out. All right, uh, spontaneous egg cutting. Okay, gonna cut these eggs. So it's been how many days? Because I don't think we talked about that. Uh, about a hundred. No, no, no. How, how many days since we checked on the first baby? Oh, it's uh, four days. Four days, yeah. And since the other two haven't pipped at all, I'm a little worried that they might be dead in the egg. Yeah. But the one that hatched was the moldy egg, so maybe he was just ready maybe. to get out of the mold. Yeah, he just didn't want mold in his life. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. He also moved that egg. Yeah, I don't like that he pushed them around. They definitely look good. The eggs definitely look good. Sorry, Kim, I'm going to cut through your awesome, like, galaxy design. Okay, what color? I guess the first test will be what color is the goop. If it's clear, they might be okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's clear. It's too. clear. Okay, so we'll just cut a slit here. I'm hoping they're not dead in the egg because they couldn't get out. I don't think egg eaters have troubles getting out of their egg. No, I'll grab tweezers. Okay. Tweezers. All right, three, two, one. Okay. I mean, that's a fully developed baby in there. How Doesn't about... look. Oh, never mind. Yeah. And the blood is Camera, normal. It looks like it's deeper in there than it's. Is. Yeah, it's right on the surface. The blood is normal, though, guys. There's these um, veins that run on the underside of the eggshell, so you do hit those when you cut the shell. But I'm gonna poke him and see if he responds. Oh my gosh, he's responding! Yay! You look right. good. Okay. Phew. All right. Yeah, now bury him decently yes. so his brother or sister doesn't tip him over. Doesn't tip him. I left the perlite pretty dry for these eggs because I've noticed that egg-eating snakes prefer dry drier climates. Like, I've offered humidity boxes, they never use them, and they have perfect sheds in complete dry environments. So I'm like, well, their eggs might actually prefer... They're also incubated in wetter environments and they just don't seem to do as well. Yeah, they just mold out. So I think the key for the egg eaters is, is just to keep it dry. Like, look how dry this is. Yeah. There's like no moisture. I added a little bit of water here and there, but really not much at all. I kind I of... I before we left. ...purposely neglected these eggs because I think that's what's better for them, which sounds bad, but... And they are completely filling these eggs, too. So I'm, like, making sure I cut right at the surface of the shell, or right underneath that shell. Okay, baby number three. Are you good? In three, two, one. Oh, you That's look good. good! You look good! Poke test! You gonna respond? No, uh, you're not responding as much. I don't see as much responding with that one, yeah. Yeah, this one... Oh, he feels really stiff, too. Oh, lame. I don't think this one made it. There's, I see some white stuff on one side. Oh, really? Which generally means... Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to let this one sit. Yeah, maybe he's just, he just doesn't want to come out. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to make it, but at least that one did. Yeah. So we're going to leave him there. I guess whenever that one's out, Yeah. if this one still isn't, then I'll pull him out. We'll just kind of explore and see if there was something wrong with him. But this guy looks great. Yeah, he looks good. I ordered up some finch eggs, so it's they're going to be... as sassy as can be. Here's... Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh, when they try to bite. I know, with their toothless mouths. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you don't know, I don't have any teeth. Oh my gosh. I've missed these so much. All right, well, we're going to let this, uh, both of these eggs sit for another couple of days, I guess until that one starts pipping, and then we'll come back. All right, it has been a couple of days. We just got back from Virginia, so I'm hoping that we have at least two babies out. I still don't think that third one made it, but let's take a peek. Okay, no. Oh, it looks like at least the second one hatched. And, oh my gosh, there's three babies. Oh, you all made it. I thought you were dead, but you're not. Look at them all. Oh, oh, you are sassy. Why are you guys so sassy when you hatch? Oh my God, you're adorable though. Hooray, they all made it. Oh my gosh. What are you doing over here? Setting up baby bins for the Ooh. egg eating snakes. Oh, speaking of them, I'll go grab them. Okay. All right, let's see. I'll pull them out of the incubator. Do, 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 do. Oh gosh, you're really putting them out. Hi, babies. Oh, they're just in a big clump. Did you show together. them all out? Yes. Okay, good. Yep, yep, they're all out. Oh, look at them. Oh, hi guys. Oh, oh. I don't like humans. 
Oh no, oh, we're that one's in shed. Yeah, we're going through our first shed. They are about a week old. We left them in the incubator a little bit longer than usual because we were waiting for their food to arrive. And we have our finch eggs now, so Hooray. we're gonna set them up like our other babies. It's just been so long since we've had baby egg eaters. Mm -hmm. We're going to do paper towels for their substrate. Then we can monitor the droppings. I was wondering if I wanted to do this for Aspen though, because I didn't want their food to like roll around. So we'll have to find a good way to put the eggs in that gives them I think support. Be fine. You think if we yeah. just set them in? But just then put them if next they to a rock. oh that'll work. They can push it up against yep. a rock. Okay, yeah, that'll work. And we have these awesome hides that were 3D printed by our fans Jeffrey and Roger. That's pretty cool. We'll yeah. Have to figure out how to do that. The only thing I think with 3D printed hides is the they're... bacteria can build up in between the layers. Yeah, so. there are a lot of crevices for bacteria to grow in. So I'm not sure how we're gonna wash these. I think if we dip them in epoxy though, or paint epoxy on them, that'll create yeah. a smooth surface. That'll work. So I mean, we're gonna use them as is for now and then we'll yep. find a way probably to seal them with epoxy so there aren't any crevices but jeffrey and roger thank you so much for mm -hmm. sending these to us i can even get like multicolored ones yeah how cool is that so we're gonna set these in the back will be the warm or heated end like usual we'll give them a couple options we'll go like this we'll make them nicely symmetrical oh cool that one has the logo on too i didn't realize he did that we'll give them rocks up here to hold down the paper towels and maybe i'll do one Ooh, in the back too rock. that is really pretty yeah these are just various rocks that have been like sent by fans hmm. and we'll decorate with some leaves to add some enrichment things to climb on things this is to... just till they get their first couple sheds then oh yeah to aspen. they won't switch them to aspen yeah but this just works really well at the beginning and there we go Ta -da! oh Change wait bins. Eggs. Oh, yep. We have to put eggs in. All right, Charles, leave this in. You guys thought Emily was going to get away with not showing off how bad she is at opening things. And <sighs> now she has to be careful with it, too. Yeah, because these are fragile. I was hoping that we could just not film this no, part. No, this is funny. Oh, man. There's like an egg right on the edge there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, so I bought a dozen uh, unfertilized finch eggs to feed these guys. Unfortunately, it looks like they've settled a little bit. So hopefully they're not too old. They, they, they have good weight to them still, though. They don't feel hollow. Yeah. So so I think they'll still work. I guess I'll give them two each. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Then they're gonna be A, more likely to bump into them as they slither around, and B, if one is bad, they should still have another option to pick from. Who just sells finch eggs? There's actually someone on the Egg Eating Snake Facebook group oh. who raises finches and she sells the eggs now because they're like, everyone's in desperate need of finch eggs. Oh, this one got a little bit cracked by my nail there. It actually might not be a bad thing that this one got hit by my nail because it might increase the smell of yeah. it. So we'll have to see if that one's like the first eaten or whatever. I what finches they are. Probably society finches. Yeah, society or zebra, probably. Yeah. Kind of help them for their first sheds. There, okay, now we're good. Babies! Oh, hi, sassy pants. Come here. Oh, you can't see squat right now. Yeah. You are not only is he mad. <laughs> you're also he can't blind. See anything. Here, do you just want to go into a hide? Or you just want to be angry at me? Look, there's a hide. You can go into it. Yep, you just want to be angry. Okay, yeah. well there's food here for you. Baby number two. Aww. Come here. Oh my goodness. You're also kind of angry. Not as angry though. Not as. Hi. Oh, yep, now we're as angry. Oh, look at your rubbing your scales together. You are so scary. I think you're a saw scaled viper yep. for sure. Okay, here you can go in your cool red cave. Look at that. Oh, oh it's cool. just for you. I'll put your food outside your door. And last but not least, we've got the biggest of the three babies, I think. Look at you, you feel solid too. That is an adorable little snake. Shed too. All of them are in shed. Yeah, That's I mean, cool. they all hatch close to each other, so That's they're all true. about that time. So in case anyone's wondering, this is Daisy Peltiscansi. So this is one of the various species of African egg-eating snakes that are kept in captivity. We used to have and previously bred Daisy Peltis fasciata, and this is our first time breeding Gansey. So yeah, look how long of a snake this is. Look they how are... sassy of a snake this is. Oh, we're also very sassy. Look how soft scale viper he is. <laughs> oh, you're so scary. Oh my goodness, I can't even hear you. You're so oh. tiny. You haven't even developed ridges on yeah, your scales like... yet. There, now they all have a little egg to eat outside of their doors. We're going to put them in the baby rack and see how they do. And none of them have any kinks at all. They seem no, they perfectly healthy. Oh my goodness, look, he was opening his mouth. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so sassy. So our plan for these babies, now that we've had about a week now to figure out what we're gonna do with them since they were unexpected, 
First off, can't believe the moldy egg hatched at all, and let alone it was the first one to hatch, so that was really cool. That's why you always incubate until there's no debate, because yep. you never know what's gonna end up happening. So now that we have three beautiful and healthy baby egg-eating snakes, we weren't expecting to breed these, so we don't have a waiting list or anything, but it's kind of in the middle of winter right now anyway, so we wouldn't be able to ship as it is. But after they take their first couple of meals, or first couple of finch eggs successfully, then I'll still have a few eggs left over from the dozen that I bought. So I'll have about six left, which means we can find new homes for these guys and they'll be able to leave with two, one to two eggs each, depending on how long we have them for. So we'll probably just sell them in our store, yeah. I guess, since we can't ship them right now. Yeah, so I'm sorry we locally. won't have a waiting list for them. We can only sell them locally. Yeah, I guess keep an eye on the Facebook page, on the Snake Scary Facebook page, because I will make a post on there stating when they are available, which we'll make sure this video comes out before they're okay. available. Okay. How about that? We'll hold on to them yep, so no that way. you all have a fair chance to claim one of these to cuties. come to the store and claim one. Yeah, of course we do require that if you are getting an egg eating snake, because everybody wants egg eaters since they don't eat mice, you need to have a reliable source of finch eggs before you're able to bring one of these guys home. We can yep. provide two for you, the leftovers that we'll still have, but then you will need to provide them from then on. Some sellers of egg eating snakes will actually say that they will drink a cracked egg from a dish? Nope. Not true at all. Like if you don't have the appropriate size egg, which for babies is either canary eggs or finch eggs, finch eggs are much easier to find. If you don't have the appropriate size, you have to tube feed them, which is very dangerous if you don't know how to do it properly. Yep. So it also makes them so they don't grow because you can't bruise much in them. That's right. Yeah, exactly. They can only take a small amount uh, at a time if you tube feed. So please, if you're interested in one of these, make sure you do your have a source of finch eggs or have finches yourself that lays eggs or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so we're going to be really picky where these go, which is yes. why we haven't been purposely breeding them because it's so hard to find them really good homes. But we will make sure that that happens with these three unexpected yeah. babies. Yes, we will. Oh, you're so cute. Look at those big buggy eyes. <laughs> They're so cute. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching today's surprise baby egg eating snake video. Thank you as always to our Patreon backers for all of your generous support and we'll see you next time.